What's good everyone, MV Astro here, back at it with another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be doing a quick overview followed by a first impressions video on the Race Day Quads 4S 1300 milliamp 100C rated battery. So, first things first, I'd like to touch a little bit on the specs of this battery. So, they do claim that it's 169 grams, which I'll be weighing here in a second. And uh, the size, as far as the battery goes, Tyler did tell me that this is their very first batch of the battery. So the second batch is supposed to be 10 millimeters shorter in length. So, which I also expect the weight to come down a couple grams because just for comparison, I have another 1300 milliamp battery here. This is the Sugar Rush by Thunder Power. And you can just see how the Sugar Rush is a little bit shorter, but yet a little bit more stubby as far as the, um, the width goes. It, it is a little bit bigger there, but it is lighter from what I remember. Let's go ahead and get some weight for you guys real quick just so you guys could compare those two weights. Let's start off with the Thunder Power and that is weighing in at 158 grams. I don't know if you guys can see that. 158 grams. And then if we put the Race Day Quads, they do claim is 169. So yes, they, uh, they seem to be very true to their weight on their site. So it is about 11 grams heavier than the Thunder Power. And the reason I'm comparing these two is because one, this is the only 1300 milliamp 4S battery that I do fly. And then two, because they're of course both 1300 milliamp batteries. These packs, I have already charged them. I haven't flown them yet at all, but I have charged them to HV. Although they're not rated HV, I will be charging them HV. And then I will also go ahead and put some more info on the screen for you guys regarding the packs, such as the price and stuff like that. Race Day Quads also has a few other packs to offer, such as some 3S packs, 4S packs, and a 6S 1300 milliamp battery, which I will be testing later on once Tyler sends me those uh, packs in. So I will be testing those. So please be sure to subscribe. That way you guys will stay tuned with those videos coming out. And since I am speaking about subscribing you guys should go subscribe to fpv flight club i will be putting a link on the description or on the screen and the reason i say that is because mike from fpv flight club him and i are going to be doing a 6s battery review slash torture test videos and we're going to be doing a series of that and it's going to be both on my channel and his channel and we have batteries such as like the poles, the tattoos, the pyrodrome 6S batteries, some ACs, some China Hobby Lines. So we have a series of videos coming out and you guys don't want to miss those torture tests. Go ahead and press that subscribe button down below on my channel. Head to his channel, press that subscribe button. But without much further ado guys, let's go ahead and go outside, get my first impressions flight on these new RDQ series 4S packs. So let's do that then. All right guys, so I'm out here about to get my first impressions on the 1300 4S battery from Race Day Quad. I'm currently under the shade for those people that live in Texas. It's getting hot out here. Very, very hot. And uh, even in the shade right now, I'm feeling it. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over my setup for those people that weren't familiar with it. So I'm still running a 4S setup because I'm currently testing out some 6S stuff for my 6S uh, quad that I want. But this here are the F40 Pro V2s 2600 KV. These are the green ones, so they are the Hulk edition. I'm running a 35 amp Speedix ESC 4-in-1 the XSR F40 with the built-in a uh, receiver inside the flight controller is running butterfly and let me tell you butterfly I flashed it from beta flight and it runs super super smooth I really like how that's running and then this the frame is the Proton uh, from FPV Flight Club I'm running the Foxtrot camera TBS Unify with the Lumineer actually stubby and the props I'm using are the 51 52s not my Hokies because I ran out of those so I'm, I'm currently running the 51 52s from Gemfan but Without much further ado, let's go ahead and power this bad boy on and give you guys my first impressions on this battery. And if you guys have seen uh, any of my uh, past videos, um, I have had batteries that have puffed. So, I'm, uh, I want to see what this has to offer. So, let's go ahead and do that thing. So, just nice and easy first since this is the first pack. I'm going to probably be running it twice. Uh, two batteries. So, I'm going to go nice and easy first. Just kind of warm up my sticks. So... I'm getting my first impression first, like how fast it, uh, it gives me that power around those trees. So it's actually not bad at all. Because uh, the last batteries I think I tested were the, some Helio ones that Banga uh, sent for me to review. And those packs, they just suck. You can absolutely just feel the power, the lack in power they had. But these are actually very nice. So compare them to any other battery that I've flown, that seems to be pretty legit, such as like the Thunder Power AC. <clears throat> so, not bad at all for first impressions. And I am going to be running these packs down all the way until my quad just kind of falls out of the sky. And uh, that's how I usually just run packs. I mean, I know most, uh, the majority of people won't be running packs all the way down until they die. But I just like 
doing things that people won't do and that way they won't be afraid under the normal use of the pack so under the normal use of the pack usually you won't be able to see those that puff so the way i see it is if uh, the pack is able to handle that kind of abuse and still perform pretty well then it should handle some regular normal uh, user users so that is why I do run those tags down all the way down so I'm also going to be looking at the flight footage that I'm going to be getting after this so this is going to give me a flight footage a flight summary of uh, how long I've been flying at the very end of my flight but yes the battery I haven't felt any sag yet and like I said I'm going to be pushing it more on the second battery so you'll probably see a decrease in flight time on the second pack right now I'm just kind of getting the feel of it seeing how it gives me that power around the corner so yeah it's, it's about a drop right now 10 volts, 9 volts, right there. That's when I usually cut it off. So with that 1300 milliamp battery flying like about 80 to 75%, I got about 100 and, a minute and 55 seconds. So let me go ahead and go get that pack and see if it's puffed or not. All right, so I will say that the battery does feel pretty freaking hot. I don't know if the camera is able to pick that up, but it is getting some condensation inside the pack. I don't feel any puff to it. It's getting pretty freaking hot though. It's getting hotter and hotter as I speak. But um, as far as the, the performance, it gave it gave me the performance. I, like I said, I, I don't see any puff, uh, but it is freaking hot. And I mean, I do expect that, of course, whenever you bring it down to like 10, 9 volts, whatever it was reading. But that is how I usually test all my batteries. And some batteries have puffed and some batteries have survived. So like I was saying during my flight time, the reason I do that is because most people don't want to do that with their batteries that they buy. So under the normal usage usually you won't see puff but if batteries are surviving the way i'm pushing them to their limits that people won't usually do if they're surviving that they should survive anything else you guys would usually run them to but let's go ahead and run that second pack and then um see whether or not the battery can survive me pushing it a little bit more because like i said i was going about 75 to 80 percent of what i'm doing just kind of getting the feel of the pack and then let's go ahead and see how much power is able to survive I mean, how much power is able to provide? And one thing I did notice was the balance lead is actually very nice and short. It has a really good length to it. That way it won't get into the props and stuff like that. So I do like that. So good job on that, uh, race day quads. So, all right, let's go ahead and turn off this DVR real quick and then start another one. So this one, I do expect the flight time to run a little bit lower just because I'm gonna be pushing a little bit more. Oh yeah, so the power is definitely there from these packs. Very nice. As far as the question is though, how long will they be able to provide me that type of power? Like how many cycles? So far, the ones that still have provided me like the most amount of cycles with the uh, same amount of power like when they're new were the ACs. These are really nice though. I like the power. Definitely way better than those Helios. These compare very much to my uh, ACs, my 75Cs. Very nice. I'm liking this. I have a feeling it may be puffed, but I don't know. We, we, we'll see. It's very nice. Uh, it's definitely giving me the power. See, I'm keeping. I'm, I'm able to stay around the, those trees with full throttle around that. So very nice in terms of it delivering that power that I'm asking for. As far as the sag goes, I'm not able to glance uh, my voltage too much, but I just kind of see it staying at like 13.8 or so. And this is like me pushing it, you know? Oh, it's about to die, so let me go ahead and bring it back. All right, so a minute and 15. So it cut down a couple seconds from that first flight to the second flight. But let me go ahead and go pick this battery up and see if it's puffed or not. All right, so go ahead and compare these two. So this one's already a little bit cooled down, but ooh. All right, so me running it like pretty tough. It is a lot freaking hotter than um, the very first pack, but I don't know if you guys can see. There's not really any puff to it. I will say on the sides though. Oh, dang, this thing is getting really hot. I will say though on the sides, it does feel a little bit squishy. Not too much. And see, I don't know if that camera is able to pick up that little condensation inside the battery. I don't know why that happens. Maybe like the fluids inside. I don't know. If you guys know, somebody knows in the comment section, please comment down below why it's getting that condensation. But... It is getting a little bit squishy on the sides, but um, see, I don't know. I don't, see, I don't know if you can see this little, like, little curve here. That I think, I think it's slightly puffing, but those aluminum plates is kind of keeping it together. But as far as my first impressions on this battery, hey, I, it, it was giving me that freaking power that I was asking, though. I really, really like it. Let me go ahead and check my quad. Anything? 
motors. No, nope, they're not hot. But um, battery definitely gave me that power. Give it a big thumbs up. I will be updating you guys later on as far as how many cycles I ran through these packs. Obviously, these are the very, very first cycles on these batteries. So I did expect for them to give me that power. But like I, I have had other batteries not giving me the power on the very first cycle. So that is why I do these first impression videos just to see where the battery stands as far as their very first cycle versus how many cycles it takes for me to start noticing the uh, decrease in power and power delivery so race day quads i give you a thumbs up uh you did i don't i don't know if i'll consider that puff but i i think i will on the second pack the one i did run it pretty hard i did see that slight puff i don't know if you guys can see it off the camera but i will say it puffed very very lightly not as much as the thunder powers did but that is probably because it has that aluminum plate that is squeezing them together but I will keep you guys updated. I will do an update video later on, maybe when I have like about 50 cycles or whenever I start noticing any decrease in power. But with that guys, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to FPV Fly Club if you guys would like to stay updated with those 6S torture test series that we have coming out. But with that being said, peace out.